In the last video, we learned that nervous system controls and coordinates various body activities. In this video, we can discuss about the basic unit of this system. Neuron or nerve cell is the basic structural unit of nervous system. You already learned the structure of a typical animal cell in standard A and also observe the structure of a nerve cell or neuron. Here, the picture of a normal animal cell and a neuron or nerve cell is given. Observe this picture. Can you identify the similarities between the normal animal cell and the neuron? You can see certain similarities between these two cells. Which are the similarities? Both these cells have cell membrane, cytoplasm and nucleus. You can also find many other similarities between these two cells. Analyze the structure of both these cells and identify more similarities between these two cells. Similarly, can you identify the difference between the animal cell and this nerve cell or neuron by observing this feature? Neurons have certain protections while comparing with other cells. Let us discuss the detailed structure of a neuron. This illustration shows the parts of a neuron. Observe this illustration. Can you tabulate the main parts of a neuron? The main parts of a neuron are cell body, dendron, dendrite, axon, axonite, synaptic node, and shan cell. You can easily identify the main parts of a neuron through this picture. Now, let us examine each part of neuron in detail. The first part of a neuron is cell body. You can see cell body in this picture. It is the part of the neuron where its nucleus is situated. It is the functional center of a nerve cell. The second main part is dendron. You can see dendron in this picture. Dendrons are short filament from the cell body. The function of dendron is to carry impulse from dendrite to the cell body. Next important part of a neuron is dendrite. Also dendrite in this picture. These are the branches of dendron. The function of dendrite is to receive impulses from adjacent neuron. Next part of a neuron is axon. You can observe axon in this picture. Axon is the longest filament from the cell body. You have already seen several small branches from the cell body. And these small branches are called dendron. And the longest branch of a neuron is called axon. The function of axon is to carry impulses from the cell body to outside. Next part of a neuron is axonite. Axonites are the branches of axon. You know what is axon? The longest branch of a neuron is called axon and its branches are called axonite. The function of axonite is to carry impulses to the synaptic node. Next part of a neuron is synaptic node. Synaptic node is the tip part of axonite. We can see small bone like structures seen at the tip of axonite and these small bone like structures are called synaptic knob. The function of synaptic knob is to secrete neurotransmitters. These are certain chemicals. We can discuss neurotransmitter in detail in the next part. Next part of a neuron is Schwann cell. You observe axon. Axon is the longest branch of a neuron and this Schwann cell is a cell which encircles the axon and this Schwann cell encircles the axon to form a sheet called myelin sheet and the function of Schwann cell is to form myelin sheet around axon. We can study the structure and function of myelin sheet in the next part. Now we analyze the main parts of a neuron, its characteristics and function. 
For more clarity, you can watch a video relating the structure of a neuron. Neurons or nerve cells are the structural units of the nervous system. They are specialized cells giving structural basis and perform the basic functions. The important part of the neuron is the cell body. The small projections from the cell body are called dendrons. The branches of dendrons are dendrites. From the dendrites, impulses reach the cell body through the dendrons. The longest extension of the cell body is the axon. The branches of axons are called axonites. The impulses from the cell body reach the axonites through the axons. The extreme tip region of the axonite is called the synaptic knob. From the axonites, impulses reach the synaptic knob. From here, certain chemicals called neurotransmitters are secreted. The specialized cells that cover the axons are called Schwann cells. The Schwann cells repeatedly encircle the axon. The repeated encircling of Schwann cells form a membrane called myelin around the axon. You can prepare a table including the parts of neuron, its characteristics and its function. A model of the table is shown in this screen, and this table includes the parts of the neuron such as dendron, dendrite, axon, axonite, synaptic knob, etc. Its features and function is included. Similarly, you can prepare a table in your science fair. It is very important in the examination point of view and it is a major concept in this chapter. We can conclude. The main concept of this video includes parts of a neuron and the features of each part, the functions of the parts. And an important question from this part is to draw and label neuron. In the next video, we can discuss the formation, structure and function of myelin sheet.